All right, so we are going to learn how to assemble a distribution board or how to make a customized distribution board for your installation needs. All right, what do we need to do that? We need an empty box and then we need a thin rail on which we will mount our various breakers. Then we will also need terminal blocks, two terminal blocks like this. Depending on your needs, you can get a longer one than this. We need two of these terminal blocks. One will serve as our neutral terminal block, and then the other one will serve as our earth terminal block. Okay, so we need two of those blocks, and then we need a main breaker. This is a 100 arm um, double pole breaker. We would need this one as our main switch or our main breaker in the distribution board. Then, depending on your needs, you have a number of miniature circuit breakers with various ratings to meet your wiring needs. And so for this particular switchboard, we are going to have 12 breakers in it. And so that will be a 12-way single phase switchboard or a 12-way single phase consumer unit. All right. So these are the things that we need to put up the switchboard together. An empty box, a DIN rail, terminal blocks, and then the miniature circuit breakers that we need. All right, then the other things we need will be some short lengths of cable that we also need as part of wiring the switchboard. All right, so now quickly, let's go. We can start by fixing the main switch Okay, then we bring the various circuit breakers also. We fix the breakers on the DIN rail. All right, so we are done arranging the circuit breakers in the switchboard. Now, there is one thing we have to understand. One side of these circuit breakers will be for supply input, and then the other side will be for supply output to our various loads. Okay, now, the main input that will bring the main supply to this switchboard will connect to the main switch. So that will be live and then neutral. The main supply that is coming from the meter will connect to these two terminals of the main double pole breaker in the consumer unit. So we'll connect live here and then we'll connect neutral here. Now the output live from the double pole main switch will be the input supply to all these breakers. And then the output neutral from the double pole breaker will also connect to the neutral bar. All right, so the next thing I will do is that I'll bring the neutral terminal block and then the earth terminal block. So neutral terminal block comes here and then earth terminal block comes here. So now the next thing we'll do is that we will link the output from the double pole breaker to the input of the various breakers. Okay, so we are going to link this output with all these breakers so that whenever this main switch is switched on, all this side of the breakers will be live. And then when you switch any of them on, the live that is here will appear at the output of the breaker. We are going to use these pieces of wires to do that bridging. Okay, we would have to remove the breakers together with the DIN reel, and then we'll do that connection and fix them back. We can start from here, then we bring the next one, then we bring the next one, 
next one and then the next one okay so now we are done bridging the input side of all the breakers to the output side of the two pole breaker okay so after that now we can carry this whole assembly and then fix it in the switch box so here we bring it again we only remove it to make the connections very easy and then after that we put it back so now we are securing the DIN reel together with the breakers to the switch box. All right. And that is done. So the next thing we have to do is to connect the output of the neutral at the double pull switch to the neutral terminal block. Okay. So we connect this from the neutral output. And then it comes straight to the neutral terminal block like this okay so from neutral output to the neutral terminal block and this will be for our head and usually there is something to show that this is head so we'll paste this sticker here to show that we have our head terminal here okay we are done with the connection of the switch port so we have our breakers we have our main breaker, we have our neutral terminal block or neutral bar, and then we have our head terminal block. All right, so simply this is how you make your own switchboard. Sometimes you will have to do your own customized switchboard depending on the needs or the demand of your wiring. So maybe there is a particular number of RCDs you need to incorporate in your wiring. If you don't readily have that arrangement or a switchboard that already has that particular arrangement that you need for your wiring, then you would have to assemble your own switchboard for that purposes. So in the next video, I will include an RCD in this arrangement. In that arrangement, we can decide to remove some of these breakers or we can decide to maintain the same number of breakers together with the RCD. All right, so that is what we'll be doing in the next video. We already have a two-pole main breaker there. We have uh, various breakers for the different circuits that we have in the wiring. And so we will be adding an RCD. And so the way the connection is done, in the switchboard will be shown in the next video. For now, before I close this switchboard, I would want to connect supply to it and then we test and see how it works. Okay, so we need two main supply lines, live and neutral. We would have to get an opening here. So live will connect here and then neutral will connect here. So now our main supply is connected. So for us to be able to test the switchboard, we would have to add a load. So this lamp will serve as our load. So the load cables will also pass here. All the neutrals that connect to the loads will connect to the neutral terminal block. And then because our load is just a lamp, we'll take that connection from this six amp breaker. Six amp breaker. Okay, all done. After all the connections, we cover the box nicely. Okay. So, 
we are going to supply power to this and then we'll see if everything works perfectly. We have one lamp in the circuit and then we expect that when we supply power to this board and then the main switch is turned on and then the breaker that is controlling this lamp is turned on, the lamp should come on. Before then, we have to switch everything off. All right. Okay, so we turn the main switch on. And then we turn the breaker that is controlling the load also on. It's working all right. All right, so this is how to make your own consumer unit. In the next video, I'll be showing how to wire a 10-way consumer unit with an RCD. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do so, so you'll be notified anytime I post the next video. Share the video with your friends and leave your comments at the comment section. See you again in the next video.